What's up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hot Farm down at the chicken compost system again. And I'm shooting on the cannon. We'll see if we got some of the kinks fixed out. And do some work. Scoop some compost. We'll also be adding, let me turn you around, some more bricks or some more cinder blocks to bay number three. We want to make this longer because this, this is working pretty well to just snail it down the wall. But I want to keep it up high enough so it doesn't overflow over the over the side so it, we can keep going down the wall this way with it it's working real well our cinder blocks come from tearing down this barn it was like half of a tobacco barn that already had had fallen down most of the way fallen down we tore it the rest of the way down there is more cinder blocks let's see yep there's some more right there right around the corner just down the hill so we'll go pick up those cinder blocks right there bring them back up the hill and make our spot bigger and turn some compost these girls are really enjoying this deep mulch this deep compost litter right here they're digging taking little dust baths in it keeping warm mixing it all up it is all over the place right now pretty much covered that cinder block so we need to push all this back we'll push half of it on this side I think and then we'll split the other half to this side. And then they've been kicking all this stuff all around. So we'll need to scoop that up a little bit. We'll move this down the wall a little bit. We'll move this down the wall a little bit. Let's go get some more cinder blocks and bring them up. Y'all, you'll never guess what happened. Hey, yeah, I ran out of battery life on the camera. I'm still figuring this 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 camera out here. So I'm probably messing up in every single way I can on this camera. But hey, that's how I learned. Like I've told you many times before, that's how I learned. As many times I've been messing up on this, I'm gonna be a freaking pro at it by the end. I guarantee it. I'm gonna get it. I'm not gonna let it beat me. I promise you. I'm gonna come back to the phone, which you guys are on now every once in a while, but I'm, where, where the hell to go? Where, there, I'm, I'm gonna get you. I will figure you out. Okay. So, I think we figured out the color problem on the camera. I think we figured out why the camera turns on and off for certain reasons, like the battery and the SIM card. So we're working through different things, we're getting it. But since I don't want to go back up to the house and grab another battery, we are just going to use the phone. That's why I brought it down here, just in case stuff happened. I'll show you what we got done. I think we got the wall in place, both sides. Three cinder blocks high, so we have room to go ahead and push this compost down a little bit more. We'll push this down a little bit. So it's looking good. So we need to come in here, redistribute what's in here, because they've been having a good time digging holes and eating. And we are gonna throw, excuse you girl, we are gonna throw a little bit more grain in here too. Just kind of mix some more grain in there and get it start to get wet and sprout. Let's get to it.
lot of people ask what kind of grains I use to throw in here to sprout for them. I just buy a scratch grain from Tractor Supply or your local um, your local mill. And that's I use the grains that they put in there. Nothing specific. So I'll just cast it over this and as I'm piling it back together, it'll mix all in. Y'all like these shirts? If you do, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put them up for sale. What do you think? This I got from Teesprings. So we have a Teesprings account set up. Just one forewarning. We ordered like four different types of shirts from Teesprings and the colors weren't all the same on all, on all of them. So maybe there's something up with the quality, quality of Teesprings. I just wanna let you know, if you do order multiple shirts and they do look a little bit different, it's not like loads different, that it wasn't our quality mistake. Unfortunately, that was the carrier that we're using at the moment, which is Teesprings. Erin said she wants to try to use Bonfire also. Uh, we just hadn't got around to that yet. But a lot of people, or some of y'all, have been asking about t-shirts and how you could get a t-shirt and I want to go ahead and offer that up to you so down in the description of this video there will be a link to order t-shirts every bit of money that we make off these t-shirts will be going right back into the farm so these chickens appreciate it I'd appreciate it the pigs appreciate it the people eating my food appreciate it That's all the work we're gonna do in bay two. Bay three, we're, or excuse me, bay one, inside the coop where you're at right now, we're gonna leave exactly how it is. I threw some grain in there. Other than that, not doing anything to it. So bay three, we need to do a little scooping, a little moving down there. So let's go do that. We're gonna start to snail this stuff down the wall. Well, I really don't know how much of that y'all got to see because of the sun, but here's what it looks like. Let's see, we're gonna have to go on the other side. Here we go, all right. So we got this pile moved away from this corner and we're starting to slowly snake it down that wall. And we've moved up room in this corner and we've snaked this big old pile all the way down there. This pile back here in bay two is in position to go to bay three. Same with this one over here. So we got a good week or so before we're gonna move this stuff out. We'll start worming it down the, the wall. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Later y'all.